Hey UTA, welcome to the Shorthorn After Dark, and here's your top story for February 18th, 2010. The senior guard scored 22 points on Wednesday to help the Mavericks coast past southeastern Louisiana, 85 to 73. Marquez sat down with the Shorehorns sports editor Clint Utley to talk about his season and future goals. And a half. Do you feel you make the right decision, or how do you feel about your decision to come back? Without a doubt, I definitely think I made the right decision. You know, I think <laughs> when you make a decision like that, you know, some people, people, you know, some people thought I was crazy. It was like, man, you leaving the ACC school to come down here and. You know, I just, but I had a plan the whole time, and you know, I talked to my family about it, and you know, I felt like I had to, I made a, the right decision, and I had to make a move, and you know, I felt like I could trust, you know, Coach Cross with my career, and so far, man, he, he's delivered on everything he told me he would. Mm -hmm. Well, I just feel like I'm, I'm just a playmaker in general, but I feel like I, I feel like I can make plays off the bounce, off the dribble, but I definitely think that you know I can spread a defense, like you know, if I'm playing on a a pro level team and you know it's a good post player or you know I definitely feel like I can spread the defense with my shooting so I mean I feel like I could do both man I don't, I don't feel like I you know should have to limit myself to one I think I could be one of the best shooters and the best penetrators mm -hmm. you know so. log on to the shorthorn.com Friday for more of this interview the Central Library observed the centennial of the Mexican Revolution with the opening of three exhibits featuring photos of Mexican history and culture from 1900 to 1940 the exhibits will be up until April, and two of them feature photos borrowed from the Mexican consulate in Dallas in UT Austin. What the center is doing uh, in February and March is um, commemorating the 100th uh, anniversary of the Mexican Revolution. And what we've done is we have three exhibits here, uh, three photography exhibits. We have photos in the special collections, we have photos in the parlor, and then we have photos here in the atrium. Some architecture students are receiving real-life experience every Thursday. Students of Interior Design 3305 and 3321 are taken out to 15 historical buildings throughout the semester. Architecture Assistant Professor Susan Appleton says she chose local examples that represent each of the styles she wants the students to learn. Students spend three hours learning and documenting what they see. The buildings they visit are built between 1899 and 2009. For all the modern equipment and facilities that the Maverick Activity Center boasts, first aid for serious injuries may be on the short list of things they don't have. The Shorehorn NASA Assistant Director of Facilities and Informal Recreation, Tom Woodman, what exactly the MAC could do to help students who may have injured themselves while at the center. We have a first aid kit readily available at anybody's disposal anytime they need it. They just need to come to the main desk right here. And if they need a Band-Aid or gauze or alcohol swabs or anything like that referring to first aid, we will provide it. Um, our students are not all trained, but our building managers are trained in first aid and AED. Um, we provide AED and, and first aid as much as they need. They are not doctors, so obviously if it's something more severe or something as serious, more injury, we are, we are told to call the ambulance. We're working on these stories and more. Pick up a copy of the Shorthorn on Racks Across Campus Friday or log on to the shorthorn.com for extras. I'm Joan Califf, and thanks for watching the Shorthorn After Dark.